Welcome to Lecce, Italy's hidden masterpiece. While cities like Rome, Venice, and Florence often steal the spotlight, we are here to show you why Lecce, nestled in the heart of the beautiful Puglia region, deserves a place on your travel bucket list. Known as the Florence of the South, Lecce boasts incredible Baroque architecture, rich history, and a vibrant local culture, all without the overwhelming crowds of Italy's more famous destinations. So come with us as we explore the hidden gems of Lecce, from its stunning churches to its lively piazzas, and discover why this charming city should be your next Italian adventure. Good morning from Lecce in Puglia and I am at the very tip of the boot in southern Italy, the very tip of the heel of the boot in southern Italy and uh, got some very beautiful buildings around and so this town Obviously, it's a very old and historic town. It's known as the uh, the Florence of the South. So the Florence of Southern Italy. But um, from what I've been told, it really has absolutely nothing to do with Florence. That was strictly a marketing scheme to get visitors to come here. Because uh, Florence is the city of the Renaissance. And this is a uh, Baroque town. Now... I'm here very early in the morning, so very few people are up and about, but uh, just want to share with you some of the pretty, pretty buildings that are here. And this city was pretty much abandoned, like at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, the, the inner core of the city was abandoned because the buildings are old and, you know, they didn't have modern conveniences like you know, indoor plumbing, electricity, and stuff like that. And I guess in a lot of ways, they probably weren't safe. So people moved outside of the central core and the um, inner city was just kind of left to decay. And I guess it was a very dangerous place. You know, a lot of uh, unsavory characters. But now, I guess about 20, 30 years ago, they started an initiative to clean it up, and it's really pretty down here. And so there's a couple of Roman um, Roman sites. There's a Roman theater and a Roman amphitheater. Just a lot of cool stuff. There's, uh, I think, three of the original medieval town gates are here. And, um, yeah, it's just a really cool place to explore. There's a um, cathedral, square, a basilica. So I'm going to take you around and show you some of the sights of Lecce. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great morning. Let's go. Cafe Alvino, located in the heart of Lecce, and is a must-visit spot for both locals and tourists. Its prime location offers stunning views and a perfect setting to enjoy a leisurely coffee break. This was one of our favorite places to enjoy a delicious pastry and a drink any time of the day or night. They also have delicious gelato. If you watched my Bari video, and if you haven't, you need to go check it out, you saw me eat a pasticciotto for breakfast. Well, it turns out that this delightful pastry is a specialty of Lecce. The luscious oval pastries resemble miniature pies crafted from a delectable, sweet, short cust pastry and brimming with velvety vanilla custard. Another specialty of Lecce is the Café Leccese. This refreshing coffee is made with a shot of strong espresso poured over ice and topped with sweet almond milk. It's a perfect pick-me-up on a warm day. There's nothing quite like enjoying these local delicacies in such a picturesque setting. Cafe Elvino provides the perfect ambiance to relax and soak in the charm of Lecce. And I'm standing in front of the Basilica di Santa Croce 
and uh, this building was built between uh, the mid 1500s and the mid 1600s it took about a hundred years to build but it is a masterpiece of baroque detail uh, the details on the outside are just absolutely stunning you have to take a look at these and up above I'll show you some detailed images of this in a bit but up above there's uh, several characters uh, uh, some are people, some are mythological creatures, and uh, these are supporting the church. So basically the church is sitting on top of these individuals. This basilica has um, some pieces of wood that are supposedly from the uh, cross in which Jesus was crucified on. Now, um, I don't know, believe that or not, like uh, I was told yesterday, uh, someone said that uh, if you take all of the wood from all the, the churches throughout Europe that supposedly came from the crucifixion cross, then you'd have enough wood to build a giant cruise ship. So uh, if, if all of these wooden relics really came from the cross, it must have been a really big cross that uh, Jesus was crucified on. The detail and the outside facade of this building is unbelievable. So if you look at what we're, what I'm showing you right now, this roll of different characters basically supporting the top of the basilica, um, from what, what I understand, what I was told was that these depict basically the enemies of the Christian church at the time. And I guess they've all been defeated and now they're supporting the Christian church. So these are a lot of pagan symbols, uh, the pagan gods that uh, the Romans worshiped. And also you have Ottomans that are holding up the top of the church. And so it's really interesting. And I think some people, some of those images are supposed to depict Jewish people. Um, And basically the church is saying, the Christian church is saying that everyone, all the enemies of the church are defeating or are supporting the Christian church now. And it's just, it's quite a sight, the detail here. I don't know if you can appreciate it um, quite as much uh, on, the, on the video, but it's pretty spectacular. Okay, so I am in front of another Baroque masterpiece here in Lecce, and this is the, um, the cathedral of Lecce, the uh, Duomo. This building was originally built in 1144, and it's been um, uh, refurbished and, uh, and <clears throat> updated uh, several times throughout the, the centuries. Uh, most recently, most significantly in the 1600s where the, the Baroque uh, touches were added to it. And it is, again, it's really spectacular just like the Basilica is. Uh, but one thing of interest is that this really elaborate entryway, this door, um, which is the first thing you see when you come in the, um, uh, the cathedral square, walk into it. Um, it it's actually not real I mean it, it is a doorway but this is not the main entranceway to the the cathedral as you might think um, so originally when it was built the um, the cathedral like faced that way and so the entrance the entrance to the cathedral people saw the, the main door but the archbishop at the time um, he wanted his residence much bigger so he built his residence and it blocked off the original entryway they changed the entryway so basically when you come into the uh, um, the cathedral square as it is today what you would have seen was just a wall off just a flat wall of the cathedral and there was nothing very uh, beautiful or elaborate about that uh, the archbishop said uh, you know that's not good enough he wants people to really be 
wowed when they walk into the square of his cathedral. So he had this um, entryway designed, which it really is. It's it's very stunning and quite beautiful when you walk in, but it, this is not the original or the main entryway to the cathedral. And we'll look at that in just a second. But just stunning artwork on the outside. It's really spectacular. All right, so this is the the original and the actual main entrance to the cathedral. And you know, it's nice, but not quite as spectacular as the secondary one that was added on years later because the entranceway to this one was blocked off. Mm, look at that plate of veggies. There's some good looking greens and beets and mozzarella. A bottle of Santa Claus wine. Man, this is the best food. Street food here in Leche, Puglia. And look at these meatballs, man. These are like in a, I don't know, they're in like a French onion soup sauce. It is so good, man, this is so excellent. Let me tell you something, folks. This stuff is so good with meatballs, eggplant parmesan. Okay, so now I'm at the amphitheater in downtown Lecce, the Roman amphitheater. And that's like the first level of seating. They actually believe it was at least twice as big with another roll that went up beyond that. There's a building from the medieval times, now the tourist information office. And there's a column of Saint Orozco, I believe he is, and he's the patron saint of Leche. So the amphitheater, they discovered it uh, sometime, I can't remember the exact date, but in the 20th century, they were doing some construction here. Um, maybe they were con constructing the square, I'm not sure. A street sweep sweepers coming back, so it's gonna get loud. Um, they discovered this, they excavated it only about halfway because they didn't wanna tear up that church behind me because the, the amphitheater goes underneath that church. So they stopped, they did about half of it. They figured it was at least twice the size with uh, more seating. So the church was exempt from taxes as long as it was under construction. Um, so when they built the church and they were using it and it was functional, uh, they didn't fill in the little pedestals on the niches so the church claimed that it was not complete. They were still undergoing construction and that way they avoided paying taxes because the church was not complete because it still had like four pedestals left that uh, statues should go. And you look at it and you think, well, maybe the statues were really valuable. They took it down, uh, put them in safe, put them, put them away safely, or maybe someone stole them or something like that. But no, our tour guide said actually, um, they just were never, was no, nothing was ever put there. So they could claim that the church was was um, not complete and they could avoid paying taxes. There you go. This is the Sant Biagio gate. You can see that. Uh, originally built in the 1500s, reconstructed in the 1700s. And this is one of three remaining gates here into the old town of Lecce and it's a very impressive structure very beautiful with um some baroque architecture so pretty much the whole city of lecce is decorated in the baroque style they kind of went through in the 1600s and uh, redid everything and it looks really nice here at nighttime all lit up people coming and going and uh yeah so this is uh, the entryway one of the points into lecce
Okay, so I'm at the theater here in Leche, the old Roman Leche, the old Roman theater. And they estimate this seated around 5,000 people. All right, so they discovered this in the 1970s. So the people who, maybe their house is right over there, they were like digging in their garden and they discovered some something and it turned out to be this Roman theater. And one thing I always, I kind of wondered, what's the difference between a theater and an amphitheater? Well, amphitheater means, I guess it means doubled. So basically if you look at the theater and it's kind of like a half circle, half oval, but a um, amphitheater is a, uh, a full circle, right? So that's the difference between a theater and an amphitheater. And here we are in Lecce in Puglia, Southern Italy on a beautiful evening. Lecce's surprising beauty, rich history, and peaceful atmosphere make it a perfect destination for those looking to explore a hidden gem away from the crowds. Whether you're admiring its stunning architecture, delving into its history, or savoring its local flavors, Lecce offers an unforgettable and serene experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Lecce. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more travel adventures. See you in the next video. Ciao.